Obviously, temperatures in Metro Atlanta, nothing like what they are seeing there, but they are going to be dropping for us tonight and we'll see more cold nights as we head into the winter months. Uh, that genuinely or generally means we're going to have higher heating bills yeah, for our houses. 47 degrees right now. My cousin says it's 25 in Chicago right now, so we're kind of we'll lucky. We'll take 47. All right, CBS 46's Ashley Thompson is advocating for those of you on a budget. All new at 5, she's speaking with local experts to find out how you can keep your home warm without breaking the bank. It's that time of year again. Lower temperatures have people seeking warm shelter. It can be expensive to heat your home, but there are some things you can do right now to cut costs. To make sure you check all your windows and door sills. To make sure you don't have any cracking in your weather stripping or in the caulk that surrounds the windows. If you do have cracks, Craig Bell with Georgia Power says it won't cost much to fix that yourself. So you go along the baseline until you find little cracks and you just fill that in and smooth it out. Weather stripping, you just go right on and take the Oh, well, the stripping off. Take this off and it peels and it sticks right onto the door or the window sill. Changing your home's air filter will also keep the heat in. If these things get filled up with dust. That makes it harder for the unit to push out the air. That means it has to blow for longer and harder. The experts at ARS Heating and Cooling are also giving tips to keep warm this winter. General Manager David Buell says close the flue if you have a fireplace. Uh, if you leave the flue open, you get all the hot air in essence is just going right out, you know, outside. It's like leaving your door open. Keep all vents open and use the sun as a source of heat during the day. When you're gone from home, just leave the windows on the south facing side of the house open so you get natural sunlight that'll help heat. At night, use curtains over the windows. And although keeping your heat on while you're not home can be pricey, Buell says it actually costs more money to turn it off and on. It could take hours for it to recover. So all that savings by having it off during the day you're going to have it running all night long to catch up. Instead, experts say set your thermostat back 7 to 10 degrees when you leave. In Atlanta, Ashley Thompson, CBS 46 News.